All right, everybody, Drew B. Wilson here. I am going to do this week's down to funnel challenge and build a foundation repair funnel. Uh, just so happens that my personal home needs some foundation repair. So I figured this is a great opportunity to expand on my abilities and try something different. So we're going to dive right in and see if we can get this figured out. If I'm not talking or chatting, I apologize. It is because I'm just going through and trying to put some things together. Uh, but I will definitely look forward to hearing any questions that you guys have in the chat and in the comments below. So I appreciate you being patient while we get to work. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I like to create the preview image and headline with the offer because that helps me dive into the rest of the funnel. Uh, so I've gone through, I've got a couple of different images here that I'm going to pull down. I just went to Google basically and found a handful of local foundation places. And so I'm just going to kind of pick and choose a little bit of things from here and there and put something together for you guys. So let's do this. I'm going to try to find an image that will fit. So we're going to put an image of a cracked wall in a basement. This one might be a little extreme, but we're just going to kind of put something together so we have a kind of a basic preview of what we're looking for. And so in, I believe it was this page here, I found some copy that I really liked. So regardless of how minor or severe the foundation problem may seem to you, you need to get it taken care of before it gets worse and it will get worse. I think that's kind of like a scary offer and also it's going to get people to stop and look at this and think, oh shit, if I have a foundation, it could very well be similar to that. So that might get a little too long. Let's take a look and see what it looks like in a preview here. So all we need to do is go to the Facebook debugger tool. So regardless of how minor or severe the foundation problem may seem, you need to get it taken care of before it gets worse. All right, so that's not the most sexy offer, but I'm going to leave it for now, and we can always come back and tweak it a little bit later. Again, the idea is we're going to want people to kind of stop and look at this, and I might even go messing around a little bit, maybe add some extra small text to the image or something just to kind of accentuate that issue. But so far, I think that kind of stands out. So let's do that. And then let's go back in here to our actual funnel itself. And so take this image out. So for this headline, again, we kind of want to keep something. Let's get something that will tie in with what we already have in our offer. And so the sub headlines do I think 
what I'm going to do. Is So I want this image, this, a window snip tool. So what I'm doing here is I'm just snipping out these images to use in the funnel itself. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in there as examples. And then I'm going to say something along the lines of, if you have any of this going on in your basement, click here below, or uh, enter your information below to schedule your free estimates. Uh, because we don't want to wait. Obviously, if these things are going on, it's uh, something that could be of concern. So let's do this. And I'll probably come back in and take a little bit of this copy and move it in. Spell this wrong. This paint. So what I'm going to do is I'll study this and kind of see it's like got this light ass weakening here. I'm going to add some text over there and just say efflorescence. Save this image. Right, good. Let's just go back into our funnel. Let's take this out. This out. All of these images together on one block here. Again,
minutes. There we go. And what I'll probably do is just go back in and clean all these up a little bit. So we find one more crack face picture. Let's see what I got this one. I don't know if it'll work. Down, boom. So now we got a little four way idea of what is going on here. Stay there. All right, so what we do? I don't know if you guys have seen this, but I was putting in paint a little image together with a handful of different issues that we noticed in our personal home. So let's that. Okay, so let's move that down. Good. Let's go back up to the design area. So we're going to look for some more copy to slide in underneath this image here. Go to the text box. Um, excellent. So maybe we'd say something along the lines of. This out. All right, so we're just going to have it go from here. We can plug in a privacy policy. I'm not going to do that, but that's for you to plug it in. You can just put your URL right here. All right, so let's take a quick look in here at this one. 
images aren't big enough for me, and I don't love how long this headline is. So let's do this. larger so, so let's take a better look at this now which is going to go away to get worse over time one new which picture foundation problems more likely it is that your home has suffered from problems with its structural integrity if you notice any of the above issues begin to appear in your home it's scheduled to free with no obligation to estimate today enter your information below to get started all right so that's just a very simple uh, opt-in page. It's got a little bit of information. It's got a headline here. It's going to kind of get them to scroll down. They're going to look at these pictures. They're going to be like, okay, I might notice some of that in my home. They're going to read this quick little copy. Obviously, it says, longer you wait to fix your foundation problems, the more likely it is your home will suffer from problems with the structural integrity. Nobody wants their home to have structural integrity issues. Uh, if you've noticed any of the above issues beginning to appear in your home, again, referencing these images and things that they'll probably notice in their home as well. Schedule your free no obligation to estimate today. Enter your information below to get started. Boom. All right, so we're going to get name, phone, email, protect my home. And then all we're going to do on page two is I'm just going to embed a quick little Calendly so that someone can opt in and then actually schedule a repair call right on a calendar page. I love that option. So we'll go in here and install a thank you page. Open up Calendly so we can get the embed code that we're going to need. Take this image out. Black text. Thank you. So what we're going to do is you go into your Calendly, look for the call that you want to set up, go into the, oops, go back to the event that you're looking for, you're going to click this option here, add to website, we want an inline embed, continue, so it's going to give us this code. So copy code. Grab it right here. Sub headline section. Actually, you know what I want to do? I'm going to take this sub headline now. I'm going to use the text box instead. 
down. Save. We need to do all that question. So thank you. Please schedule your estimate below. Section pages. That's going to be page one. So we can see what page two looks like. Okay, thank you. Please schedule your operations estimate. Right, it's going to pop up the calendar. They're going to scroll down. They're going to get the option to submit. And then they have the option to visit their website here. So pretty simple stuff. Let's go in here and make sure everything's set up correctly. So for the final form, when we wanted to go to the website, what we're going to do is go down to external redirect. So for this one, I should say we're going to send it to the Again, this would just go to whatever website you decide you wanted to redirect them to if you had a foundation company. This is where you put that website in there. We go back over to page one, and we want to make sure the external redirect on page one is now set to our thank you page. Click save. Now we know that when we share this to Facebook, this is what's going to pop up. It's going to be this image here. Regardless of how minor or severe the foundation problem may seem, you need to get it taken care of before it gets worse. So that's not the most sexy offer. Uh, I could probably come up with something a little bit better than that, uh, but this may just be a funnel that we could use organically, sharing it in groups of homeowners or in places where we've seen people talking about uh, issues with their home, maybe like neighborhood community groups, things like that. So that's gonna be the preview image, page one. Foundation issues never go away, they get worse over time. So again, we're just tying back into this uh, entry level offer. So reminding people, hey, you need to get this taken care of. Got a couple of images of what are some common issues they're gonna notice in the home that has foundation issues. So horizontal cracks, lateral pressure or movement, efflorescence, dry rot. So we're kind of letting them know exactly what it is that they may be noticing. Uh, reminding them again, the longer they wait, the more likely it is they will have issues. And if they notice anything above, they may want to schedule their free no obligations estimate today. And I'm actually change that to Good. Let's just stick with estimates today. Good. All right, and there you have it, folks. That's all you needed to do to build a quick foundation funnel. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, if you have any questions, comments, Drop them below. We will definitely follow up with you. And I look forward to the next one. Have a great day.